What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we got a brand new through the years with my man Marcus Costa representing Hofstra University and of course those New Orleans Saints. Now I'm not even sure if this is him, okay? I got reports that he played tight end, played receiver. All I know is that he wore 89 and he was catching passes. So we're going to go with it. Into the late 2004, he's 66 overall, 74 speed, 75 agility, 79 acceleration, 67 catch, 79 jumping. Now his first year at Hofstra was back in 2001. He caught 17 passes for 336 yards and 3 TDs. His second season was back in 02 where he caught 47 passes for 614 yards and 3 TDs as well. Madden 25, he's 62 overall, 74 speed, 76 agility, 80 acceleration, 68 catch, 80 jumping. For the 2003 season, he caught 51 passes for 910 yards and 7 TDs. And then in 2005, which should be instant by 06, he caught 70 passes for 975 yards, 5 TDs, averaging 88.6 yards per game. Now, the reason why I did those numbers right then and there, not waiting for instant by 06, because he's not in NCAA 06. But he was a seventh round draft pick of the Saints. But he's not in Madden 07 either. So anyways, man, we're going to go to Madden 2008, his second year in the NFL, where he's 89 overall, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 catch, 87 run running, 92 catch in traffic, and 90 spectacular catch rating as well. Let's go to his rookie numbers, though, because they're pretty impressive. Caught 70 passes for 1,038 yards, 8 TDs, averaging 74.1 yards per game. Best game was versus Tampa Bay. He caught 11 passes that day for 1 TD and 123 yards. His second season, he caught 98 passes for 1,202 yards, 11 TDs. His best game was versus San Francisco. We got three TDs in one game. Moving on to Madden 2009. He's 94 overall, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 94 catch, 91 route running, 97 catch in traffic, and a 95 spectacular catch as well. He caught 47 passes for 760 yards, 5 TDs, 69.1 yards per game. He also got a huge game versus Carolina. They lost that game by two, though. The Panthers were victorious, but he had a pretty good day catching a touchdown pass with seven receptions and a 123 total yards. Madden 2010, 87 overall, 81 speed, 86 acceleration, 91 catch, 89 route running, 97 catch in traffic, and a 91 spectacular catch as well. Now, my man stepped his game up after that 47 catch performance in 2008. In 2009, caught 70 passes for 1,074 yards, 9 TDs, averaging 67 yards per game. He also had a huge game versus the New York Giants where he caught 8 passes for 166 yards, averaging 20.7 yards per catch and a TD, and of course they won that game versus G-Man. Madden 11, 89 overall, 84 speed, 86 acceleration, 94 catch, 90 route running, 97 catch in traffic, and a 90 spectacular catch rating as well. He caught 84 passes for a grand total of 1,023 yards, 7 TDs, he averaged 68.2 yards per game as well. Now, he had a pretty impressive game versus Seattle Seahawks. Eight catches, 113 yards, averaging 14.3 yards per catch, and two TDs, and they got the dub, 34-19. Man in 2012, 88 overall, 83 speed, 85 acceleration, 96 catch, 92 routing, 98 catch in traffic, and an 88 spectacular catch rating as well. So let's check out his numbers. He caught 80 passes for 1,143 yards, 8 TDs, averaging 81.6 yards per game, and he tore it up versus the Carolina Panthers, had 145 yards on 7 catches, averaging 20.7 yards per catch, and 2 TDs in a 45-17 win versus the Panthers. Man at 13, 91 overall, 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 97 catch, 93 route running, 99 catch in traffic, and a 93 spectacular catch rating. He caught a grand total of 83 passes for 1,154 yards, 10 TDs, averaging 72.1 yards per game. And then had a monster game versus the San Diego Super Chargers. Nine catches, 131 yards, three TDs. I said three TDs. But now let's move on to Madden 20. 
95 with my man AP on the cover. My man Marcus Colston comes in at 90 overall, 86 speed, 87 acceleration, 96 catch, 89 route running, 99 catch and traffic, and a 91 spectacular catch rating as well. His numbers are starting to come down just a little bit. 75 catches, 943 yards. He averaged 62.9 yards per game and got five total TDs. He had a monster game versus those Carolina Panthers at again. Nine catches, 125 yards, averaging 13.8 yards per catch and two TDs and a 31-13 win. Madden 15, he's 90 overall with 85 speed, 88 acceleration, 95 catch, 87 route running, 99 catch and traffic. He a monster, y'all. He a monster, Wayne. 90 spectacular catch as well. Now, your man caught a grand total of 59 passes, but for 902 yards. That's still impressive, man. Five TDs, 56.4 yards per game. He had a monster game versus Detroit. Six catches, 111 yards, average 18.5 yards per catch. But they lost that game 23 to 24, man. This is the last year as a Saint. Can you believe that? He was still balling, man. He was still doing his thing. But anyways, 86 overall, 83 speed, 84 acceleration, 91 catch, 84 route running, 97 catch in traffic, and an 85 spectacular catch rating as well. He caught just 45 passes for 520 yards, four TDs, averaging 40 yards per game. But he still went off versus those New York Giants. They won the game 52 to 49. He had one TD. He had eight receptions total for 114 yards, averaging 14.5 yards per catch that day. When we go to Madden 17, he's in Madden 17 as a free agent. He's 74 overall, so pick him up, man. He's just 33 years old. If you're doing a franchise, and speaking of franchise, we're going to start doing some more franchises on this channel and maybe a little bit of NBA 2K, my league. Be on the lookout for that. But anyways, man, Marcus Colson, 87.8 overall for his career as a Madden character. That's a beastly overall for his whole career, man. He did work, did his thing year in and year out. We're going to have some more, some brand new through the years coming very, very soon. So be on the lookout. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Until next time, peace. Awesome.